Hi everybody, I am so happy that you're here today. I can't believe we've gotten to do so many yoga classes together and now we get to do another one. And this one is going to be about summer. We're going to do a couple different summer activities because it's getting so warm out and nice and we're going to be enjoying our summer vacation soon. So we're going to start with a song and I think a lot of you probably know this one. It's Open Shut Then. So let's bring our hands up, make our fists, and we'll sing it two times through, I think. All right, here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. <laughs> Great work. Okay, let's do that one more time. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Great work, everybody. Okay, so the next thing I think we're going to do is a little breathing exercise, and it's a fun one. It's called snake breath. Now, do you remember snake pose from before? We've done it a few times. We can actually start with a few cat-cow poses and then work our way into snake. That's a great way to get there. So if you remember, we're going to go like this, and then we drop our belly and breathe in, and then we'll look up and go, moo. And then as we breathe out, we stretch like a, a frady cat, and we go, meow, 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 meow. Let's try that once more. Breathe in, look up and go, moo. And then breathe out, stretch that back up. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, great job. So then we come back to hands and knees like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to lower down to our bellies like a slithery snake. So we just lower down. And then as we breathe in, we rise up like a snake. And then as we breathe out, we hiss it out just like a snake would. Great work. Let's try that a few more times. Breathe in. And breathe out. How about two more times? Breathe in. And one last time. Breathe in. Great job, everybody. I really like that breath because you get to move around and pretend and imagine that you're a snake, but it also can help you calm down and relax a little too, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now that we've warmed up our breath, we've warmed up our bodies, we are going to do a new song called the Reaching Song. So let's stand up. Okay, good job. So we're going to go like this. I'll sing it through twice. So if you just want to follow the motions and learn the words the first time, we'll do it a second time through. We're gonna reach up high, we're gonna reach down low, then we'll spin around and clap. We're gonna reach to the sky, then bend down low, and give our toes a tap. Great job, let's try that once more. We're gonna reach up high, we're gonna reach down low, then we'll spin around and clap. We're gonna reach towards the sky, then bend down low, and give our toes a tap. Great work, everybody. Okay, so I know that I said we're gonna do some summary things, and I thought it'd be fun if we did a summary imagination journey. Now, I know sometimes we do an imagination journey at the end of class, when we're laying down and we think of things in our head to help us calm down and go to a fun imaginary place, but we can also do them in yoga when we're moving. So this one's gonna be a moving summer walk we're gonna go on together, all right? So let's pretend it's a beautiful summer day outside and we just woke up. So what's something you like to do when you first wake up? I know I like to just stretch out my muscles. So if everyone can stretch up towards the sky, maybe 
Rock a little side to side. That is great. Okay, and then we'll bring those arms down. And then we'll go for a walk a little. We're gonna walk. We're kind of looking around, looking around, and oh, look at that. There's a slide. Do you like to go down slides? I do too. They're super fun. So we can even pretend it's a roller coaster if we want. We climb up, climb up, climb up, climb all the way up. And then we put our hands in the air because this is going to be so much fun. And down the slide. Great job. Slowly roll up. And let's keep walking. So we're walking and we're walking. And oh, I see a dog. I love dogs. Maybe we should say hi to it. So let's get into our dog pose. Great work. And the dog is so happy. The dog is wagging his tail. Go ahead and wag your tail. And then if you want, this is a little tricky, but give it a try. We say hi by lifting one hand and keeping the other down. Lifting the other hand and keeping the other one down. Oh, great work. Maybe he wags his tail again a little more. And then we say, bye doggy, and we go on our way. We're gonna keep walking. Keep walking, keep walking, and oh my goodness, the perfect climbing tree. I don't know about you, but climbing trees are so fun that when I see them, I just have to give it a try. So let's try to climb this tree together. We're first gonna climb up, climb up, climb up, and then we'll go into tree pose. Remember, legs here, here or here. We put up our branches and we hang out in this super cool tree. Maybe it's windy and our tree blows a little. Maybe there's even a tree house. Oh, that'd be so fun. All right, let's try that on the other side so that we're all balanced out. Tree pose. It's still a little breezy out. Okay, and then we're all done in the tree. So we climb back down, climb back down and let's keep walking. See what else we might see and oh, there's a swimming pool. Do you like swimming pools? You could go swimming in the swimming pool. That can be really fun. Or maybe you just want to dive in. We'll put our arms up and dive all the way in. And while we're under there, we find the biggest beach ball we've ever seen. Can you help me raise that beach ball way up over your head? All right. Now we play with it. We go back and forth, back and forth. And then we throw the ball and we realize, uh oh, we are all wet. And our moms or dads might not want us in the house if we're this grippy. So maybe we should dry ourselves off. Do you remember how we dried ourselves off before with the washing machine game? We did the dryer, we patted ourselves down. So that's what we're gonna do and pretend we have a big beach towel. So let's start up here. Gentle taps on top of your head. Gentle taps on your cheeks. Gentle taps on your shoulders. Some bigger taps on your belly. And then you can pat all the way down your legs. Make sure you get all the way dry, all the way down to those toes. And we're dry. We can walk, walk, walk till we get home. We put up our home, there's our roof, oh, we see it, and our parents welcome us in, and we have a great summer day together. All right, I hope you had fun on that imagination journey. And now we're gonna end with uh, one more breathing exercise. Now for me in the summer, I think of candles, and I know that's probably not a normal summer thing to think of, but I have a birthday in the summer. So we are gonna do candle breath. Now there's two different ways we can do it. You can just bring your hands together like this, or you can interlace, that means fold your fingers over each other and use your pointer and thumb to be more like a candle. So whichever way feels most comfortable for your body is the one that you should do today. And you can also sit on your knees or you can sit crisscross, again, whichever is most comfortable. So what we're gonna do with this breath is we actually don't wanna blow the candles out right away. We wanna take a deep breath in but then have a slow, gentle breath out so we can make the candle flame flicker a little, but not go out. So let's try that. Take a deep breath in, deep belly breath, and then blow out gently. Great work. Did you feel it? It's like the candle flickered, but it didn't quite go out. Let's do two more of those, Kate. Okay. 
Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Great work. Once more. Okay, we did a great job with our gentle breaths. And now we want to blow out all those birthday candles. Maybe we breathe in and shut our eyes if that's comfortable to make our wish. And then blow out as strong as you can. <sighs> Great work, everybody. I'm so proud of you. I think you got all the candles blown out. I hope you had fun, and I hope you have a great summer.